hello welcome to this house world if you are new to this channel you can please subscribe and then uh, click on the notification bell right today in this video we are going to talk about how to analyze um, mathematical expressions someone who have been struggling with uh, analyzing math expressions especially some basic facts in mathematical you have problem with analyzing them i hope this video is going to help you at the end so i will, I will want you guys to please subscribe to the channel share the videos to your friends anyone can watch the no one in a junior school or senior school this video is really going to help you because i'm going to give you step by step explanation on how to um, analyze some expressions um, i want you guys to follow the video from the start to the end yeah you can use it as a supplementary tool then you get some ideas from your teachers and then you read books you can try sharing the videos to your friend please and also i would love to see your comments below like i uh, some of you did in the last video i saw the comments and i'm really grateful and it really helped me uh, to proceed and then produce new video and i hope it's really gonna help please if you observe any mistake in the video just kindly put it in the comments and also i will check it and then improve on that all right let's go guys here is the beginning we have the paper in front of us and the video is all about analyzing any given mass problem now first of all before we go further we need to know the basic mass symbols as it is written here know the basic mass symbols because we are going to need them so these basic mass symbols are written below we have the the bracket sign which is this one um this bracket sign we have the off and then we have multiplication sign which we will need and the division sign the addition signs and the subtraction sign well we should not only know uh, the basic operation symbols but we need to know how to use these symbols like how to analyze statements how to see statements read them analyze them and convert them into these symbols like in mass uh, uh, word problems these things will be given in word form like in phrases or sentence form like you will see things like multiply by divide by added to stuff like that so you should know how to uh, analyze statements and then convert them into these symbols now we look at the next step that is to look at some key things uh, that someone should always look for in any mass or problem the first example is the first example reads a number x multiplied by 4 a number x multiplied by 4 this can simply be analyzed as 4 times by that particular number which is x then we have 4x yes then this is the answer for that this is the uh, analysis for that we move to the second one which is a number x subtracted from 4 when a number is subtracted from 4 what does that mean you are going to write 4 first from 4 you see a number is subtracted from 4 meaning 4 is the number that x is being subtracted from then we write 4 first 4 4 is a number is subtracted from 4 then we write the minus sign and then write that number so you see to it that 4 is the number that is written first and then x is subtracted from it this is the simple uh, analysis for that we move to the second one which reads 4 subtracted from a number when 4 is subtracted from a number now it's different from this other one that one we are going to write x minus 4 the unknown number is x so that is uh, where 4 is being subtracted from. The, the next thing is um, 4 added to of a number added to 4, 4 added to a number is all the same. Whether you write it as x plus 4 or 4 plus x. Now let us see, you have x plus 4 or 4 plus x. So we have x plus 4 or 4 plus x.
are some other short sentences that you can find in mass word problems like this example a number x multiplied by 4 a number x multiplied by 4 what you do is either you write 4 times the number or the number times 4 so we choose to write 4 uh, the number times 4 which is 4x the number is x uh, another one is a number divided by 4 a number divided by 4 when a number is divided by 4 the number should come first and then you write the division sign then write 4 this is how that one is written when a number is divided by 4 but there's another case where you know you'll be asked 4 divided by a number 4 divided by a number now 4 should come first in this case because 4 was written first in the case of division so you write 4 divided by dot number x so this and this and the example of there are different the first one says a number divided by 4 and this other one says 4 divided by a number x so they are different now i will proceed to some cases where you'll see statements like one fourth of two s half this first statement you have one fourth of a number so when we say one fourth of a number we write one over four multiplied by the number so you, the off sign will always be interpreted as multiplication that means one over four multiplied by the number x the unknown number so that's it have one over four x this other one which reads twice or half a number so twice or half a number when the question the question said twice a number that means two multiplied by that unknown number that is two x but for half a number or half a number an unknown number means that number divided by two you write that number first and then divide it by two proceed and look into the other ones uh, like this one here which reads for added to twice a number so we all know that from the previous statements twice a number means two times that number if the unknown number is x therefore it will be two times x that is two x Then the second statement reads 4 subtracted from 2s a number is that particular number which is x and then subtract 4, 4 from that 4 subtracted from 2s a number that's the statement we look into this other statement that is somehow similar to the one we have analyzed above like the statement read 2s a number x subtracted from 4 you are going to write 4 so this means you are going to look for that number which is x and multiplied by 2 and then subtract it from 4 2x then we subtract it from 4 we are going to say 4 minus 2x from that we are going to check the ones that are somehow complex like for example we have 4 subtracted from 2x a number and the result is multiplied by 8 so these ones are more complex than the other ones we did previously so what we are going to do we are going to break the sentence and then write each of them one by one and see what is going to happen so we say 4 subtracted from 2s a number then we write 2s that number let the number be x so we say 2x then 4 is subtracted from this what does that mean 4 subtracted from 2s that number so we are going to say 4 subtracted from this will be you minus 4 from it that will be minus 4 and then um, the result is multiplied by 8 meaning the result is referring to the whole of this so we put that in a bracket that is the result so when this the whole of this multiplied by 8 you see as from this statement it says the result multiplied by 8 so we multiply that by 8 this is the analysis for this statement it can be found in mass questions so this is the analysis for the whole statement the result multiplied by 8 let's look at this other statement that is somehow similar to what we have just analyzed 
uh, recently so this statement said reads 4 subtracted from 2 as a number and the result is divided by 2 so what i'm going to do i'm going to stop here and then you guys can try analyzing this statement on your own and then you see what you can do about it thank you for watching the video and please as i told you before don't forget to um share the video subscribe like and comment